travel the world looking for fun and new adventures. I'm Carrie. I'm Dave. Oh, we made it. Welcome to American Travelers. Today, we're heading to Jackson. That's Jacksonville. To the historic town of Jacksonville, Oregon. We're driving up Interstate 5 from our hometown in Auburn, California to check out this beautiful small town that dates back to the mid-1800s. We pass Shasta Lake and the scenery is so spectacular. And nothing compares to this view of Mount Shasta. We arrive in Jacksonville through these beautiful tree-lined streets that continue to the downtown area. Our first stop is at the Jacksonville City Hall where we happen to be greeted by the city mayor. My name is Donna Bowen. I'm happy to welcome you to the city of Jacksonville, Oregon. I'm the mayor, a job I very much enjoy. Jacksonville started out as a gold rush town. Gold was discovered here in the 1850s, so it brought a lot of people into town. There wasn't a lot of gold here, so what happened was the people who came here for gold quickly developed into businessmen, for instance, a hardware store, a photographer. Some of them became farmers. Our growing conditions are almost Mediterranean-like except for the snow that we have in winter, but our soil is so beneficial to growing grapevines and all of the varieties we have here, Syrah, Cabernet, white wines, just have that extra something. They're award-winning, so that's attracted new people here and it's been so beneficial to this valley because we all eat well and drink well here. After our visit with the mayor, we search out a place for lunch and La Fiesta was highly recommended. Carrie is dancing a little jig. Well, here it is, and that looks delicious. With Mexican food, you either gotta have a margarita or a beer. Next on our journey is a ride on the Jacksonville trolley. Good morning, folks. I'm Brian Roberts, and I'll be your tour guide today on the Jacksonville trolley. Jacksonville came to be with the discovery of gold here in 1851 on Daisy Creek. To the north of us, there's a couple flat mesas known as Table Rock Mountain, and they originally named the town after those two flat mesas, later changing it to Jacksonville in honor of President Jackson. Now the company that ran a little red train between Jacksonville and Medford, known as the Rogue River Valley Railroad Company, for 25 cents you could have caught the train right here, rode between Jacksonville and Medford. Jacksonville is also known for having the youngest railroad conductor in United States history. The young man who conducted the Red Cannonball between the two towns, John Barnum, was only 13 years old. Wow, that's quite an accomplishment for a 13-year-old. I bet he would do well on the TV show Shark Tank. Our tour guide takes us through town and points out the history of these old buildings and homes. We have to stop for some small pedestrians, and I think this is a common occurrence here in Jacksonville. As we move along, we see more historic homes, including Judge Hanna's house and the famous Bozo the Clown's house. His real name was Vance Kolvik, and his stage name was Pinto Kolvik. And the Brit Festival brings many of visitors to town to hear great concerts. Oh, guess what? Another visitor. You know there's a lot of pretty churches here in Jacksonville that add a lot of charm to this town. As we finish our tour of historic homes, Brian tells us that this part of town is all new construction, fashioned after the styles of the historic homes. Well, it's time to be on our way to our next adventure. We would highly recommend a trip to the historic town of Jacksonville. Thanks for watching American Travelers.